Joe Burrow announced his decision to transfer from Ohio State on Tuesday, a decision that means another FBS school will have a chance for his services. It's not a perfect science when quarterbacks decide to switch schools but several teams will be counting on a new quarterback in 2018, and Burrow could be considered an immediate upgrade. West Virginia's Will Greer and Auburn's Jarrett Stidham made it work last season, and Michigan is banking on Shea Patterson to claim the starting job this season. More, top 25 QBs of 2018 So what exactly is the best-case scenario for Burrow? We found 12 examples where moving on and up worked out. We didn't include Joe Flacco, who transferred from Pitt to Delaware, or Aaron Rodgers, who moved up from Butte Community College to Cal. It's also worth noting that half the quarterbacks on this list eventually started in a Super Bowl. These quarterbacks are the standard when it comes to transferring. Vince Ferragamo, Nebraska, 1975-76, Ferragamo started his career at Cal, where he battled Steve Bertkowski for two years before transferring to Nebraska. There, he helped the Huskers go the 1st of May 19 over the next two seasons. Ferragamo, who had 34 touchdowns and 14 interceptions in that stretch, was SN's Player of the Year in 1976. He later led the Rams to an appearance in Super Bowl XIV, Jeff Hostetler, West Virginia, 1982-83. Hostetler played sparingly at Penn State his first two seasons before transferring to West Virginia, where he led the Mountaineers to a pair of 93 seasons, in 1982 and 83. He finished 7th in the Heisman Trophy voting in the latter year, and later led the Giants to a victory in Super Bowl XXV. Troy Aikman, UCLA, 1987-88 Aikman didn't fit in well as an option quarterback under Barry Switzer at Oklahoma, so he transferred to UCLA to lead the Bruins to consecutive 10-win seasons. Aikman closed his college career, which included consensus All-American status, a Davy O'Brien Award and a third-place finish in the 88 Heisman vote, with a victory against Arkansas in the Cotton Bowl. The No. One pick in the 1988 NFL Draft led the Dallas Cowboys to three Super Bowl victories, Jeff George, Illinois, 1988-89, George played at Purdue for a year before committing to transfer to Miami, but backed out of that, and eventually chose Illinois, where he led the Illini to a 10-2 record and a Citrus Bowl appearance in 1989. George, the number one pick in the 1990 NFL Draft, played for seven different NFL teams from 1990 to 2004. More, Top 25 RBs of 2018 Colt Brennan, Hawaii, 2005-07 Brennan was dismissed from Colorado's football team after the 2004 season, spent a year at Saddleback College in Mission Viejo, Calif, then transferred to Hawaii. He emerged as a record-setting passer with 14,193 yards and 131 touchdowns over his three-year career there. Brennan also led the Warriors to an appearance in the 2008 Sugar Bowl. Nick Foles, Arizona, 2009-11. Foles played sparingly at Michigan State on a roster that featured Brian Hoyer and Kirk Cousins before transferring to Arizona, where he started three years and totaled 10,068 passing yards and 67 touchdowns. Foles bounced around the NFL before landing with Philadelphia last year, where he stepped in for an injured Carson Wentz and led the Eagles to a victory in Super Bowl 52. Ryan Mallett, Arkansas, 2009-10 Mallett was a heralded five-star recruit who started at Michigan before transferring when Rich Rodriguez was hired as the Wolverines coach in 2008. Mallet landed in Arkansas, where he totaled 62 touchdowns to 19 interceptions in two seasons. That included a 10-win season and Sugar Bowl appearance in 2010. Cam Newton, Auburn, 2010. Newton started his career at Florida but announced his intention to transfer after charges were dropped stemming from an arrest regarding a stolen laptop. 
He played a year at Blinn College before transferring to Auburn, where he won the Heisman while leading the Tigers to the BCS Championship in 2010. Newton, the No. 1 picked in the 2011 NFL Draft, later earned NFL MVP honors and led the Panthers to Super Bowl 50. More, SN's post, spring, way too early top 25 Russell Wilson, Wisconsin, 2011, Wilson was a three-year starter at NC State before transferring to Wisconsin as a senior. Wilson led the Badgers to the Big Ten Championship and a 2012 Rose Bowl appearance, totaling 33 touchdowns to four interceptions. He has since led Seattle to two Super Bowl appearances in the NFL, including a victory in Super Bowl 48. Nick Marshall, Auburn, 2013-14, Marshall was dismissed from Georgia's football team in 2011. After a year at Garden City Community College, he transferred to Auburn, where he led the Tigers to a victory over top-ranked Alabama in the memorable Kick 6 game. He led the Tigers to an SEC championship and a BCS championship game appearance. Jake Coker, Alabama, 2014-15, Coker redshirted at Florida State in 2010 but couldn't win the starting job after a heated competition with future Heisman winner Jameis Winston in 2013. He transferred to Alabama in 2014, finally taking control of the job as a senior in 2015. He made the most of his opportunity, leading the Crimson Tide to a 14-1 record in their first college football playoff championship. Coker totaled 3,110 yards and 21 touchdowns to eight interceptions as a senior. Baker Mayfield, Oklahoma, 2015-17. Mayfield started his first game as a walk-on at Texas Tech, transferring to Oklahoma after the Red Raiders refused to offer him a scholarship. He was a three-time Heisman Trophy finalist and eventual winner in Norman, leading Oklahoma to three Big 12 championships and two college football playoff appearances. Cleveland selected Mayfield with a no. One pick in the 2018 NFL Draft.